you've been working with audio for more than five seconds, you probably figured out by now that editing audio can be a bit of a pain, especially with 10,000 tracks, jingles, sweepers, etc. But with volume normalization, at least your audio levels can remain consistent. For this very reason, and by popular demand, we are happy to announce that volume normalization is back on Radio.co. So let's dive in and find out a little bit more about how this feature works. This video is made by Radio.co. To start your free Radio.co trial in seconds, head to Radio.co and click on the pricing page. Volume normalization automatically adjusts the volume level of your audio files to ensure consistent listening throughout your broadcast. This eliminates manual adjustments and creates a smoother listening experience for your audience. In practice, volume normalization dynamically adjusts your stream output by approximately minus 13 decibels in real time as well, so audio levels are consistent. Can the gain be adjusted? No, the gain is fixed at minus 13 decibels, but that's just for now. We might change this in the future. But that doesn't stop you from using a third party app like Adobe Audition, Audacity, or anything else. Uh, on pre-recorded media to level the audio yourself on the worst offenders like uh, that dodgy track your co-star sent over that's mostly just noise. Then upload to Ray.co and hey presto, volume normalization will do its thing. So does it apply to uploaded media and live broadcast? Yes, volume normalization is applied to the final output wherever it may be coming from. So both uploaded media and live broadcast will have volume normalization applied dynamically on the fly. The idea is to offer consistent sound across the board for whatever type of station you are running. It's worth mentioning as well that volume normalization is reactive based on the volume of the last bit of buffered output. So sudden changes in volume could give you some strange results. So we advise not doing that. Okay, Rowan, this sounds great, but how the hell do I enable this? Well, it's actually very, very simple. All you need to do is go into the settings of the Ray.co desktop app, click broadcasting, then enable volume normalization then hit save. Enabling or disabling volume normalization will restart your station, however. So make sure you're doing this during some downtime as listeners will be kicked and need to reconnect. So, you know, just a quiet period, maybe in the early hours. Also, volume normalization might just be a toggle in your radio station, but it requires a lot of back-end processing to compress and normalize audio. For that reason, the feature is currently only available on standard or higher plans. Uh, so make sure you're using the right plan before trying to do this. The reason we decided to bring back this feature is that the idea was to take the legwork out of leveling your audio. However, we do realize that things aren't going to be perfect straight away and there's always room for improvement. So if you're interested in maybe trying to let us know how it's affected your station, well, we'd love to hear from you in the comments below. If it's working great, we'd love to know. But also if you're experiencing any issues, we'd also like to know so we can address them. But that pretty much wraps it up. It's a very simple feature and we can't wait for you to start using it. So until next time, thank you very much for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one. Happy broadcasting. Eager to learn more about how to effectively grow your radio station? Well, here at Radio.co, we're offering you the opportunity to do just that. Whether it's changing the way you market your existing station or how to successfully pitch and plan for a brand new one, the team are eager to help you thrive on air, loud and clear. Head to radio.co forward slash training to find a list of consultations we're currently offering from as little as $69. Interested? Well, why not drop us an email via training at radio.co to get the ball rolling. Radio.co Audio University. Let's simplify broadcasting together.